From this point on, we're going to be using integration techniques uh, that are traditionally learned in the second year of A-level maths. So reversing the chain rule, uh, integration by substitution, integration by part. So we're going to be utilising those in order to evaluate the integrals from here on out. Okay, so if you were just a first year uh, student, then uh, you don't really want to go into this section without learning those techniques. Okay, so let's look at this improper integral where we are integrating uh, from 2 to infinity, uh, 1 over x minus 1 to the power of 5 dx. Okay, so with, if it, we were just looking at that function to integrate 1 over x minus 1 to the 5, you could use uh, integration by substitution. Uh, just let the u be equal to x minus 1. Uh, but you would probably want to be able to uh, reverse the chain rule on this. Um, so, let's get it set up first. So we're going to have the limit as a tends to infinity of the integral between 2 to a um, of 1 over x minus 1 to the 5. So I'll write that as x minus 1 to the minus 5 dx. Okay? Now, the way that I reverse the chain rule is that I think about, well, the integral will have x minus 1 and it will be to the minus 4, because I would have added 1 to the power at some point. Now, if I differentiate this, I'm going to get, well, the derivative of the inside is just 1, so minus 4 comes down in front and take 1 from the power. So I know that that differentiates to that, so this integrates to that, so this will integrate to 1 over the minus 4 times x minus 1 to the minus 4. Effectively, you divide both sides of your equation by minus 4. So this is the limit as a tends to infinity of minus 1 quarter x minus 1 to the minus 4 evaluated between 2 and a. So this is equal to the limit as a tends to infinity. Substitute in the a, we're going to get minus 1 quarter a minus 1 to the minus 4. And then substitute in the 2. So substituting in 2, 2 take away 1 is of course 1. So we have minus a quarter times 1. And we're taking this away, so take away minus a quarter is plus one quarter. And this is going to be equal to one quarter, because as a tends to infinity, uh, a minus one to the minus four will tend to zero. Okay, so that term will tend to zero and I'll be left with one quarter. And so that's how we can evaluate this improper integral.